Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. Oh, what cobweb? Where'd that come from just now? Hey, <laughs> that stray little also a little web was in my way. How you doing? I'm doing okay other than the web, but uh, wrapping up a couple of knives here. Actually, um, got to get a couple of boxes. Um, got to think fantastic pack once again for all my boxes here. This is awesome. Here we go, and uh, get these set up. Got to fill out some addresses and get these things shipped off to everybody. Uh, where's my marker? Here we go. And I want to do my readers. Ah, they're there. Okay. I was sharpening knives. So, okay, here we go. Yeah, you can see me okay, right? Yeah, it's good. There we go. All right. There you are. There you are. Alrighty, well, I've got a couple of Coyote Works knives here. I just grabbed three boxes. And uh, I got Williams here. This is uh, William T. William T. and Francis C. Well, Francis, you know who you are, Francis. Francis is a new patron supporter. Thank you very much, Francis. I appreciate that. That, that was cool. I got up a... a a few days ago, and I was opening up emails, and boom, there it was. Hey, Francis, hey, she became a patron supporter for CK Knife and Tools. That was cool. I don't really endorse page, you know, or push Patreon too much. I used to when I first got on, but honestly, I, I that's for people. I think Patreon is a really good product or a platform for folks that uh, don't supply a product to other people. Um, the same thing with YouTube. YouTube's a really good platform for people to be creators and earn money. Um, I use YouTube primarily just to be able to show off the knives and, and uh, uh, you know spread the word and everything and, and use it as a advertising or a marketing tool, not as much as an income tool. And uh, I feel bad for those people that were using YouTube for an income tool for such a long time because in just my brief period of time in YouTube so far, it's amazing how much YouTube has taken away from creators. and. I'm not big at it, no stretch of imagination. I'm, I'm somewhere, uh, I think somewhere around 8,000 subs at the making of this video and uh, I'm slated to be breaking 10,000 by the end of the year. But I can, I can honestly say that I remember when I first got on and I got my first paycheck and how many views and all the things that I was getting versus now, YouTube has slowed all that down. They have their ways of slowing it down for people like me not to make money. Uh, but yet they make money, and uh, I find that kind of ironic that creators always, uh, uh, you watch a lot of videos and creators talk about YouTube and slowing down their monetization and everything. But what's even funnier is that YouTube takes the advertiser's money to advertise on platforms, my platform and everybody else's platform, but then they give you a skip option. So as soon as that video plays after five seconds, people hit that skip button just to get to the content. Well. That means YouTube's getting paid from the advertiser to run those at commercials, but then YouTube doesn't have to pay people like me because they put a skip button there. So if you guys skip the the commercial after you know within the first five ten seconds, I really don't get any credit for that, so I don't get paid. So YouTube's taking money from Joe and giving Mary the opportunity to skip Joe's commercials. So even though Joe paid YouTube, YouTube doesn't have to pay Chad because Mary was able to skip it. So I found that kind of funny that the, as a as if I was an advertiser paying on YouTube, I'm thinking, why are my commercials not being more effective? Well, that's because YouTube's allowing them to be skipped after five seconds. Now, with that said, there are some pretty stupid commercials out there. I'll give you that one. But there are some commercials I find myself watching that are four and five minutes or almost a little YouTube video. And they're actually pretty darn cool commercials for a channel or for a, a, a product. Now, I get caught up in watching it, and I really think it was pretty neat. So it's commercials like that that really draw people's attention. But honestly, I don't think a commercial should be any more than 30 seconds or a minute. And, then, and that's not bad in the grand scheme if you're logging in and you're going to click on one of my videos and you got a 10-minute video, and all you have to do is watch one 30-second commercial beforehand. I don't think that's that bad, but I know people nowadays they just want to click and get right to it. I always watch commercials for at least 30 seconds or a minute uh, because I know as a creator, I know what that can do to help that channel that I'm watching. So 
It might not be anybody I'm subscribed to. It's just some people that we watch, even my kids. They subscribe to stuff. They'll watch a 30 second or one minute video on something they're entertained by just because they know their dad's a creator and they get money for that. So anyhow, went on a tangent. Francis, thank you for being a patron supporter. I do appreciate it. Um, there's a bunch of levels on Patreon. There's a dollar a month, uh, $5 a month, and $10 a month. You can uh, find a link down below. I've always put, I've got the, you know, the link down there. It's patreon.com forward slash CK Knife and Tool. Click on the link. It'll take you to it. You can read about it, but um, not too bad. But I have uh, Francis's knife here. She has a traditional uh, coyote. It's like Casey's, the coyote brown with the olive drab, sandblasted finish. Blake Tech Tech Lock, it's all finished and ready to rock and roll, very sharp. And uh, William T, Mr. T, uh, uh, <laughs> you got the olive drab sheath. Everything else still the same, olive drab, uh, canvas micarta, sandblasted finish, tech lock. But he went with the olive drab, which is a really nice, I've, I've actually made a lot of these. Uh, to date, Coyote is still, this is still the most popular knife, the sandblasted traditional Casey. Uh, then this actually second most favorite is the one with olive drab. I have done a couple hand sanded. I have a couple going out later on this year that are going to be stainless steel. Uh, I've already done a few like that already um, earlier this year in 2019. And uh, then I have um, a couple coming out with, uh, I did one, the unique one that had the stabilized. I think I might do another one of those. And then also I'm going to do one in Coco Bolo, I believe is one of the orders up there. And then I did um, uh, Doug. He sent me scales that he bought off of uh, a different website and sent them to me and I put them on his knife. So really neat. But uh, yeah, William and Francis, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, at the making of this video, um, it's middle of 2019 and I've uh, been busy still. Got a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing, going out and adventuring and uh, creating content for the end of the summer and beginning of fall. So I'm looking forward to doing that and sharing that with everybody. But in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and package these knives up and get them sent off so you two don't have to wait any longer. Everybody else, thank you very much for all the support. Both uh, Warrior Poet Society, Axe Family, Coyote Works. I mean, it was great. A couple of folks that jumped over and sent me messages after watching a Lunkers video as of late. Uh, it's a video I did earlier, but um, uh, last year I believe it was, but I still get a message every once in a while, so that's cool. Uh, yes, if you're ever interested in one of those knives, all you have to do is reach out to me. Uh, until the next video, gang, I do appreciate it. And remember, if you got a YouTube creator that you like, just let the commercials play for 15, 20, 30 seconds. It does help quite a bit. Uh, but until the meantime, gang, have a good one. You enjoy yourself. Take care. Bye.